Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and this is just a quick little video um, for one of my subscribers um, basically he was asking me how I use Omniflop to um, create the discs I've been using on the um, Apple Macs I've been playing with and I thought I'll just do this quick video just to show you um, how I do it so we're set up in my office here and we're, um, we've got the um, got the old bridge PC that you've seen a video of um, how I built this thing. Um, so basically, we're going to use that um, and Omniflop to create a um, floppy drive, floppy disk that we can use on the um, Mac. Now, there's a few things about this. This doesn't work for everything. Um, you cannot use this to make a um, 400k or an 800k um, disk to run on like um, an original Mac or like the Mac Plus that uses like the 800k drives. This will only work on the later Macs that actually have a 1.44 meg um, floppy drive in them. Um, what you can do though is um, you can actually transfer an image that is designed for an 8, 400 and 800k floppy disk onto that 1.44 meg disk um, and it will actually work in the computer so there's a roundabout way if you've got a slightly older Mac that you can actually make a disk for one of the 400 and 800k um, disks for like one of the really early Macs but um, you need another Mac as well as the um, PC to do that we'll go into that in a little bit more um, detail anyway so basically what we're going to do I've got here a folder just full of various bits of Mac software I've downloaded off the internet. Um, you've got um, Apple Fritter, I think it's called. Um, there's various websites out there that have got tons and tons of um, Apple software on them. Um, if you want um, your system disks, basically um, Apple have made, I think it's system... Um, 6.0.8 and one of the seven, uh, one of the System 7 um, versions free. Um, I might have it on here which System 7 version it is. It should be um, here. Yeah, here we go. It's System it's um, System 7.5.3 um, is freely available, and um, System 6.0. Um, 0 0.8 are freely available and I think Mac have, Apple have actually said yeah you know um, anyone's um, free to use them so there is actually you know you're not breaking any um, copyright issues by using those apparently so they are a bit um, funny about the earlier versions I know a lot of websites that had software on they um, had to take down like version 1 version 2 of the original um, Apple OS uh, but the 6 and the um, 7 apparently are absolutely fine. I did actually find um, doing some trolling, it took me a while, but doing a little bit of trolling, I did actually find um, System 1.1, uh, um, System 2, uh, System 4.1, System 3.2. Um, so I down, I down, oh, it's, here we go, these are the ones that um, I've got System 6.0.8 and System 7.0.1 are the two that Apple say you know, you're fine to use. I've got another version of System 7 on here as well. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, basically, what if it, to actually do what we want to do, what you're looking for are um, .dsk and um, I think .dat, um, sorry, .bin, .bin and .dsk um, images, uh, which are basically um, the image of the um, floppy disk and that's what we can use Omniflop um, to transfer. There's lots of other uh, ways you can um, download Apple software that I'll get to in um, in future when I'm a bit more familiar um, how I can actually get this software over there but you've got these which a lot of my um, original software is dot, um, .sit which I believe was an Apple um, a form of Apple compression um, going right back to uh, like the early Apple Macs um, those I'm going to have to think of a different way to get over actually onto a Mac uh, but I'll say if it's a dot, um, uh, dot .bin file or a dot .dsk file this, this method should work um, providing it's up to a 1.44 meg um, disk image it could be anything smaller than that and it should work 
Um, so what we'll do, I've got a blank floppy disk here, so we'll stick that in the um, we'll stick that in the drive, and we'll pick a um, pick one of these images to actually try. So let's have a look what we've got up here. I've got Load Runner there. Now that's a um, if you look here, it's a um, loadrunner.dsk so it's a .dsk file it's a 400k file so it's a file from one of the original um, Apple Macs so we'll try that one we might try just um, one more um, right so what we'll do um, we'll open up let me just um, shut that down we'll open up on the flop We don't need to test the installation because I know the installation works. So we click next, um, and what we want is format right, initialize disk, which is the um, top one up there. We click next on that. Now on my setup, uh, the 3.5 inch drive is drive B, which is what's already selected. So I'll select that. Now on this next slot, it'll give you a lot of different makes of computer and what this um, software can actually uh, write disks for. So if we click on Apple there, it'll tell us that it can only do one Apple um, format, which is the Apple Macintosh 1.4 4 meg um, HD HFS. Um, so we click next on that. And we click browse. Now we can go to um, we're in the uh, Mac folder here. It's already um, still on this. We've got all of macOS System 6 disk images. Oh, these are all image files. We don't want image files at the moment. We click on, click down here. This shows all the different types of file formats that um, OmniFlop can um, deal with. Easiest thing I've found to do is go just down to all files at the bottom there. Now we can't do anything with these ones here because these are these um, dot sit files like so the only flop can't deal with them because they're actually they're not just a um, disk image they're actually a compressed disk image um, but if we look around here let's find um, something we can definitely um, do let's there froggy dot dsk because that's a dsk file which um, it shouldn't be able to have any problems with at all and we've got um, load runner dot dsk either of them will, should work absolutely fine uh, they're both 400 k so they're both original um, Apple discs. Let's do um, Load Runner. So I've selected the loadrunner.dsk there. All we do is click Finish. As you can hear, the um, flop is flop, um, clicking away. What it's going to do first is it'll format the disc as um, an Apple Mac 1.44 meg floppy disk. It shouldn't take too long actually, it's pretty quick. I'll just get a little bit of monotonous if you're doing a load of discs. Um, I've done quite a few over the last um, last bit of time, few days of uh, playing with this thing. No, 80% now. And now it's actually transferring the um, data across. I say it formats it first and then it'll transfer the data across. Now this shouldn't take very long at all being it's only a 400k file. There. Now it's done. And if you see it's come up, um, the file is smaller than the disk. Not all of the disk has been written. Apart from this, the, oper the operation completed OK. Do you want to repeat the operation? Well, no. But um, So basically, that's it. We've got um, we've got um, that .dsk file now written to this floppy disk. We'll do one more just for um, just for fun. I've got another um, yeah, I've got another disk here. I said we'll um, just click cancel on that. 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. But next on that. Far right, right, initialise, drive B. We've got the uh, Macintosh. And let's have a look for another file to uh, do. Let's. There, we've got OS um, 7.01 there. Now, I think these are. Um, are these dot bins? No, the dot, these are image files dot IMGs. No. <coughs> Omniflock can deal with um, .img files as well, but obviously they have to be um, smaller than the size of the um, disk. So, um, what haven't we done? I've already done most of these to, um, so I've got a complete set of um, System 7.01 disks. Uh, what haven't I done? I've not done the fonts disk yet. I've done the disk tools instanced. Right, let's have a look at the System 7 tune-up. We'll see if we can get that to transfer over. So um, we'll click open, click finish, and again, first thing it'll do is format the disk. Now this um, this is a bigger file. I think this is like nearly a 1.4 meg file. So um, this should take a little bit longer to transfer over, but uh, it should still work. last 10% of the format now and then it will start transferring the data over. Some of these images don't work, I mean that's the whole thing when you get stuff firm um, and you're just um, dragging it off the internet you sometimes have to try a few different times downloads from a few different places until you find one that actually works um, successfully. Like here, as you can see this is um, this is stopped. Now it could be that it was a dodgy disk, it could be that that um, image is, um, there's something wrong with that image. Let's just quickly try it on another disk. And we'll try again. So we we'll click retry. Unfortunately we'll have to go through the um, fire mass again. But uh, you know, if it doesn't work this time we can think perhaps that's just a, a dodgy image. That like I said, sometimes you do get. Ideally what you want to do is uh, format your discs on a PC and um, just um, do a scan on them, for, especially if they're older discs. I mean these are old, um, these are old wages backup discs that I've got hundreds and hundreds of. So it doesn't write this time, there's a good chance it is the file that's um, iffy. We'll just try writing something else to the disk. Let's see. If it fails in the same place, we'll pretty much know that there's something... It's a full 1.44 meg this, so at least it shows um, doing a full disk image and I said a 400k disk image. Yeah, it looks like it was just a bad floppy disk that um, that failed. Yeah, that worked fine. Uh, do you want to repeat the operation? No. We'll cancel that for now. So there we have, we've got two disks. Um, one with the System 7 tune up and one with, um, was it Frogger or um, 
can't remember what we did with it. We did, um, I can't remember now, it's only a minute ago as well, whether we did Frogger or we did uh, Load Runner. But anyway, we've got one of them two on this disc. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll get set up um, on one of the Macs and we'll see whether these are going to um, read okay. So uh, back in a sec. Right, we're back. And as you can see, we're set up. I've decided I'm going to use the LC just to show these discs working. Purely because it's got a nice big LCD monitor, so it just makes it a little bit easier to film. So let's take um, these discs that we made before. So we've got the um, well, the System 7 um, tune-up disc. So, let's, uh, so this is um, a 1.44 meg, I think, um, disc image, if I remember correctly. When we made it. So let's stick that in. Hopefully it should... Um, yeah, there it is, it's going now. There we go, System 7 tune up. Which is currently what this um, this LC is running. And there we go, that seems to be working fine. I won't run the software um, now, but you can see it's obviously it's. Um, it seems to have loaded all right. Let's get that disc out of the way. Drop that down there. Let's have a look at the other disc. So this is, um, did we say it's low drummer, I think. So let's stick that in the um, drive. Remember this was a 400k um, file, so this was uh, actually intended to go on a, a, one of the original 400k um, Apple floppy disks and we um, put the image on a 1.44 meg uh, formatted Apple floppy disk um, you saw the error when it actually wrote but this should still read fine in this um, in this Mac what of course this disk won't do is write is reading any of the earlier mask, uh, Macs so we say load runner disk dot, and there we go we've got everything I think we um, we need in there, yeah. So that seems to be um, that seems to be working fine. Now this disc, see, it's got the system uh, in the disc there. I think this disc should be able to um, boot on, like an earlier uh, Mac. Say uh, you saw me do with the golf game on the uh, previous video. We um, we should be able to do that with this uh, load runner game as well. But what we could do, say we wanted um, to run this on a, um, say. Um, a Mac Plus or something, one of the Macs that's only got an eight, um, 800k drive in it. What we can do, we load my hard drive up and grab hold of the load runner disk. We'll drag that in, oh I've already got it here, but uh, we'll just drag it into the thing. Yeah. Was copy that disk over. There we go. And we'll eject the disk there. We take a uh, Mac formatted um, double density disk. This being a high density drive, it will it can format the 800k uh, Mac double density disk. So we we'll stick that in the drive. We've got just a blank um, 800k disc there. Let's call it Load Runner. So basically, click on there, backspace. So we've got the disc there. If we open the Load Runner um, directory, and basically all we want to do is copy all the um, what's in the directory there over onto the 800k disk so 
So I mean, you can get stuff off the internet onto an 800k disc to look to run on a Mac Plus, but you do need a slightly later uh, Mac to do it. One with a 1.44 meg um, floppy drive. There we go. So basically, we've now got a um, load runner. On a floppy disk that we can r you run in one of the Macs that's only got an 800k um, disk drive in it. So I think that's quite um, quite a useful little trick. I'm not sure whether this will boot directly or you have to actually boot the system disk the way that I've done that. I don't know if you have to like initialize the boot or anything on it, but it will definitely read and you'll definitely be able to actually run the software. Because like if you have to, you might have to still boot up with the system disk rather than sticking it in and boot. In fact, we could try that. Uh, just bear with me a sec, and I'll just go and grab uh, one of the Mac Classics. I mean, it's no hard drive in it. Um, theoretically, if it's going to boot, this should be able to boot straight from it. So I'll just just give me a sec, and I'll just um, set us up on one of the Mac Classics. Okay, and we're set back up on the um, on the Mac Classic. This is what we was working on um, on the disk drive the other day. Um, I've got the um, disk, and I don't think this will probably um, actually work straight off. But we'll see. Like I, said, I, have to, I have a feeling you have to do something with the system files to actually get it to boot. But we should at least be able to read this 800k disk in this um, Mac. Let's let the Mac um, initialize. There we go, that's working. Let it come up with this little disk icon. There we go. Let's just try this disc. No, it doesn't like that. But what we can do, let me just grab a system disc. And we'll boot the um we'll boot the Mac from a system disc. There we go, we've got 6.08 there. And yes, I realise the Mac's got it built in in ROM, but I haven't got it um set up. The Mac Classic actually has um, OS 6.01 um, in ROM. Let's see this is going to boot up and once it's booted up we'll eject that disk and we'll stick uh, that in and see if we can read it. Be far off. There we go. So what we can do is we dump that disc out. We we'll take the 800k disc that we made before and we we'll stick that in. We should be able to get this to run, or at least load the disc. Oh, this just needs minor repairs. Do you want to repair it? Okay. There we go. Don't know what minor repairs it needed, but um, there we are. That loads load runner. Don't know whether it's going to load run, but can try. Oh, it wants the system disk. This is the only problem with not having a hard drive. Bloody hell. Let's see how many times it needs us to do this. This is why it's all, it would also be really, really good if you didn't have a hard drive to have a second floppy drive. There we go, load runner.
actually looks a pretty good version of Load Runner actually. I might have to um, spend some time having a play with this later on. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to do. Looks like this was just more of a quick video for one of my uh, subscribers who was asking about. Um, said that literally they were just asking how um, I did with Omni Omniflop to um, make these discs for the Mac using um, a PC. So, so that's all really the video was about, and hopefully someone has learned uh, learned something useful from it. Anyway. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I um, hope you enjoyed that little video. Uh, the next video is going to be on sorting a hard drive out for this thing. Um, we do have a hard drive we can put in this now. Um, I've got another hard drive to go in a box that I've got. The one that was sat next to my um, LC. So the hard drive out of that uh, external box is going to go in this, I think. And then I've got a decent... Oh, I've got a 2 gig um, SCSI disk to go in that box, which is going to be my main... Um, Mac like um, storage storage drive for while I'm fiddling about with these old computers and I can just um, swap it about between the other computers whatever I want to install um, software on at the time which I thought would be a really useful way of doing it so anyway I'm going to leave it there for now I hope you enjoyed this little video so uh, thanks for watching and goodbye